Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, totally going to be checking out the brand new-ish, it's been out for uh, about a month or two now, maybe three months, give or take, whatever, right? This is the new McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn. If you've ever collected Spawn figures, uh, you probably have a, a Commando Spawn or two in the old collection, I'll definitely pull out some favorites. On the sides of the box, nice pictures of Scorpion, for whatever reason. Not Spawn, right? And of course, here is the barcode as well. And uh, this comes from Walmart. Online, not so much in stores. Haven't seen it perhaps later on. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link down in the description below. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new ish McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 line the Commando Spawn and of course here is Commando Spawn all out of the packaging and just keep in mind that uh, Commando part right and uh, of course he does come with two accessories you get some necroblasm particle effects which is nice right that's nice to see I'll give it that all day and uh, they're okay they're very sharp pieces they're kind of like a handheld what i like something more in terms of like a urizen set like the old-fashioned mcfarland set with like a huge particle blast yes i would he comes with a mortal kombat flat black stand and then yes you do get a really cool looking very modernish spawn the commando spawn what is actually really nice about this though is that everything is painted some more of the recent mcfarland figures i've been saying over and over ah man i wish they had more paint this one this is, this is todd's baby right so you got to put a little paint i think there's maybe two instances on a buckle on the back that doesn't have paint which i mean that's the only thing that's missing everything else the spikes the cape the gauntlets everything is painted and painted well so i definitely do dig that i mean he's even got the the skull belt he's got a little bit of a different uh let's say diaper anymore but it really does work he's got that usual if you've had the mortal kombat 11 spawn it's pretty much all the same except that i do like the crotch piece a little bit better it's kind of like a more updated take i dig that you got the feet toes it works for what it is and all the weapons that he has on him are painted the bullets the rounds everything and he has a handgun which is non-removable that's the big bummer so what we're going to do here today is special shout out and a thank you to bobby valla over at action force he did send over his new weapons pack charlie and what this is essentially is a massive weapons accessory pack with blast effects which i definitely dig and i know the mcfarland store has that but we're going to test these out with this more seven inch figure uh, to see how it matches up with McFarlane toys as opposed to like six inch G.I. Joe, Marvel Legends, things of that nature. What I do like right off the bat is all the guns, all the effects are in little separate baggies. It's a baggie full of guns, it's like a bag full of demons like McFarlane would do, right? But here's all the guns. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm not going to pretend I know anything about guns. I definitely don't. But uh, in, in the case of what I know, uh, they're all pretty much painted well, I have to say. I think that some of them could have used a little bit more paint here and there, mostly on the flat black ones. But I think that in the most part, those are all largely black. So, yeah. He also gets uh, a number of different bullet magazines, right? And then you get some uh, particle bullet effects. So I definitely dig that and of course here's everything in totality for the old charlie box now to start it off i'll tell you this with more of just the single handgun i would have loved to have two handguns that would have been kind of cool in the box just saying but the uh this one in particular it's going to be a little bit too small for this spawn now keep in mind you can try this out for yourself marvel legends gi joe it all works but uh because it's a commando spawn uh, that's where i'm really interested now these two individuals i would say i think are start, we're, we're starting to find something here, something that works. Also, of course, one of the guns totally reminds me of the movie Spawn, right? When he flips over the balcony and uh, blasts uh, Jessica Priest and all that. You know what I'm talking about. But with the particle uh, blast effects and everything else, you can definitely put down Violator for a little bit. Now, with the particular guns where you have to load in the magazines, that's cool. I really dig that. 
This one, again, seems to work just fine. I think it's a nice size. You got the blast effect on there. Everything works, everything looks good. And this is also one of the blast effects that clips onto the tip of the gun instead of slipping in. So definitely works either which way you want to go. Just depends on which gun you have. This one, a little bit too small, I'm going to say. But to be honest, Spawn, to me, he's more of that futuristic sci-fi vacuum cleaner weapons that Image Comics is just known for this one is more in terms of yeah commando spawn this would work and i think it totally fits and i like all the different uh, two blast effects you can uh, put in there this one again i think that it scales well i think the bigger the gun the better it is for say a spawn figure but i think this one is my favorite especially with the articulation for this particular spawn figure, if only he had one eye closed, you know, that would be really cool. But utilizing the effect pieces that he comes with, utilizing the gun, I mean, I get it. I get it has to be under WB and they don't want guns with their figures. And technically, Mortal Kombat 11 is under WB if you're including spawn. Hey, you know, you're kind of out of luck. But man, it's such a bummer not to have Commando Spawn have a bunch of weapons and just to show you like the scale comparisons let's say if you're into valiverse spawn old new you know what i mean now the valiverse is more around that six inch scale so gi joe classified marvel legends more of the the hasbro scaled figures but this particular spawn can match up with that spawn is supposed to be a bigger beefier character and of course you can kind of you know this to kind of make it more of a commando spawn you know what i mean it's kind of cool to put the helmet i actually like that you give them two of the big heavy guns you go up against clown or violator or which form or whatever he's taken at the time just and take care of business right now like i said commando spawn is uh of course a staple within the spawn collection right if you've been around since the 90s and i have various ones and these ones to be honest with you are just some of my favorites also, they were more towards the front of the collection, so I grabbed these. But you got real change. You got weapons galore. You got the bandana. You got all kinds of vacuum cleaner ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. Sci-fi weapons. I love this one right here. This one's fantastic. But uh, like I said, to have a commando spawn, right, and not have any weapons, ah, it's a crime against spawn humanity. You know what I mean? So I will tell you this. If you are interested and if you didn't go, let's say, the McFarlane round and you're more into the Valiverse, I would say that the majority of the weapons pack Charlie will fit for 6-inch, 7-inch figures, right? Even 5-inch, give or take, 8-inch figures, you have to kind of eh, kind of work with it. But at least if you're looking for a nice weapon arsenal for Commando Spawn, I think you'll be in good hands. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Commando Spawn from the Mortal Kombat 11 line. And of course, special shout out and a thank you again to Valiverse for sending over their weapons pack. Charlie, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn and the weapons that he can use, right? That works. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned for this week. I'll have some more Valiverse figures to look at. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>